Hello everyone. It is time for another Cabana Bay slash Universal vlog because I am here once again in Cabana Bay at the Towers with a very special guest. We have been reunited. It's Miss Sammy. <laughs> She's like way back there. Yeah. Come, oh, come over, come join. Here. We're here. Hi. You know what? Yeah. We are in gator colors right now, so... Is that a good thing? That's my, that's my college. That's right. Orange and blue, that's my college. So, yeah. No. She didn't plan it, but it worked no. out really well. I did. But I did say I was having a blue day, didn't I? Was yeah, you did. Like, and I'm like, blue. orange Halloween. So we're getting ready to go to Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. But I wanted to film an intro because I got here yesterday and mm. we just chilled. had girl time, chilled, caught went and got dinner, caught up, yeah. didn't do anything exciting for the vlog. So we're going to start the vlog here. We did have some activities this morning lounging at the pool so bless. after too the hot, intro yes way too hot because oh, florida so hot. but after the intro we will cut to the pool footage and then we've got a lot of fun stuff including dead coconut club and who knows what else we'll do this week so anything could literally happen anything <laughs> <laughs> so let's, anything let's do it and this is our morning view today uh, we've been up for a while. We've just been lounging and talking and watching catfish. <laughs> some catfish. As you do. And uh, watching Velocicoaster run in the distance. But this is our morning view at Cabana. All right, well, it is. I looked, looked, went to look at my watch. <laughs> There's no watch there. But it is uh, sometime just before lunch on Thursday. And we are heading to the pool have some cabana bay time cabana pool time <laughs> so we will see you guys down from i guess we're gonna do this pool which i've never done so we'll have to I mean, go with no the lazy with the lazy river i've oh, never yes. done the lazy river so we'll have to do that today first time let's go okay we found a secluded corner all the umbrellas i know all the umbrellas are taken so we found this like hidden hidden corner here to lounge because we are pale people. And I got the turkey club wrap with some fries. So that's gonna be my lunch as we hang here at the pool. And Sammy's Should fries. Yes, Hello. Sammy's fries. <laughs> well, you can tell from my cheeks how hot it is today. So hot. <laughs> I've just, we've been roasting. So we had lunch. It's time to go get in the pool. And now we've got floaties. We got, we got uh, donated and yeah. donated to us by some lovely men. Yeah, some lovely guys were like, hey, do you want these? We're and leaving. We were like, yeah. We're like, yes, yeah. please. And we will pass them on to someone who exactly. will do our due diligence and pass them on as well. Like eventually. Weekend. Yeah. Eventually. I mean, keep them, for the, keep them for the weekend. I oh, mean, you think? Yeah. I'd go for it. Why yeah, not? we got them. Might as well keep them. Then, you know, when you leave, yes. donate them to somebody. Yeah. So, we're going to go Lazy River it. A dunk under? Is that what I need to do? I don't think I'm gonna jump on because that didn't work out well for you. <laughs> oh, look at us. Look at us, we're like just, so just walking in the lazy river. It's very lazy. It's a very lazy river. It's very lazy. Very lazy. But it's also very shallow. Yes, clearly. Because <laughs> we're both tiny people, so. <laughs> Again, the status of my cheeks tells you the temperature out today. It is. So toasty, September day, so hot. So I am strolling into Bayliner to get an icy because that's one of my favorite things of staying at Cabana Bay is the icies are included with your drink refill cup. So brought my cup from home, reactivated it, 
all the ices for me. So we are done at the pool. Too hot to be out here any longer. Plus we're planning to go to Dead Coconut Club tonight. So we need to go start getting ready for Dead Coconut and Horror Nights later tonight. I actually haven't checked out the Bayliner new menu yet, so we're gonna do that real quick and see what's new. Cup design looks like it's the same. This is the one I had from last year, but cup design is the same again. I think they had one new one, but I don't see it out, so they might have already sold out of it. Or no, I think it's on the other side. I'll show you on the other side. I do see it over there. So let's see. Obviously, I've filmed the Bayliner Diner many times, but let's see what's new. Okay, that Beyond Burger Vegan Wrap is new. Interesting. There's a picture of it right there. Ultimate Grilled Cheese. Everything else there looks the same as previous years. The pizza stand has a new margarita flatbread. I just saw the picture of it. It looks very different than it used to. Let's see if it pops back up again. I can show you. Okay, yeah, that looks very different than it used to. It looks kind of like a toast, like a French bread. There's that. Sadly, the salad bar is not back. I thought it was, but apparently not. It's still just pre-made salads, which they actually look really good, like that one with the chickpeas and the avocado. It's got nuts in there. I would absolutely try that one one day. That one doesn't look bad either with the feta and the egg. They look pretty good, honestly. I would give them a go, but I do miss the salad bar from the old days. So I think we have one new thing here, which is the shrimp stir fry. Everything else looks the same to me. Maybe the seared tuna with mango salsa, that might be different. There's the shrimp stir fry. And here they have a zesty chicken sandwich. That's new to me. It's a crispy chicken sandwich with a special sauce. I would try that one day. Sounds good. I do miss the old days though. I do think the menus at Cabana were a little more adventurous and changed a little more often, but post pandemic, it is what it is. This is the new cup that I was talking about. Not really for me. It's very like zombie mummy theme. I guess there's Frankenstein's Monster Werewolf. Okay, I mean, it's just not my favorite. This is not my, of the Halloween cups, I think I've collected every single one. I do not think I will buy this one because to me this one's just far cuter and I like the colors better. So this is the new cup for 2023. If you're coming to Cabana, that's your new cup choice. And otherwise, everything seems pretty much the same here. One of my other favorite things to get here is, watch them not have it anymore. The sushi. Every once in a while, I just like to come in and get a sushi roll. A fresh, just put out there. Um, nice, cold. It's, it's a little expensive, $12.50 for a pre-made roll, but not a bad option if you're kind of tired of fried foods. Um, they do have some healthier items over in this case. So, yeah, I think that's all the update as far as Bayliner Diner. Obviously, I give you guys the update every single fall when I stay here but everything else looks the same so now I'm gonna get my icy right now green apple is the new flavor I haven't tried it yet I'm just gonna do regular coke today ah this is what makes it feel like Horror Nights for me Cabana will always be tied to Horror Nights I got my cup ready to head back upstairs and get ready this is life though unlimited icy it's life for sure <laughs> Well, I just got picked from the pool and look at it. it is definitely pouring downtown right now just stay over there stay over there not here okay we want dry Halloween Horror Nights but back in the pool it is so hot down there as I said I think this cheek is betraying me this cheek <laughs> this one not so bad this I one's like no not nearly as bad mm-mm -mm. You're like, like mine's just like my skin's paler, so you don't notice it. Yeah, as much. yours is like cute, cute like little rosy. No, no. mine is like inflamed. That's not true. <laughs> it's not true at all. So we're going to start getting ready now for Dead Coconut Club. For tonight's adventure, we are starting at Dead Coconut Club. Obviously, I love this place. I want Sammy to see it and take it all in. Get her picture taken with all the photo ops. I think I'm actually going to go get Starbucks and then come back and hang out, but we're going to do the photo ops first, get a table, and I'm going to get Starbucks and we're just going to hang out in the AC for a couple hours, wait for the event to start, but enjoy ourselves at Dead Coconut. We are inside. I have to remember to buy this tonight. I forgot the other night when I was here and I want it. It comes with 3D glasses. 
at the Universal Store. I gotta get that. So, this is great, but I really want to take Sammy out for the photo op. And they have it roped off. No. She could ask when so, she Yeah, I guess we can ask, yeah. So we're just gonna take in the club for now and find a spot, but. Well, I'm officially sad. The upstairs area is closed for a private event until 7 p.m. So no photo op for Sammy, but we're gonna take this little area back here with my alien friends and chill for a while. Ah, uh, that after Halloween Horror Nights icy trip. And a very quiet Bayliner Diner. Honestly, one of my favorite things to do after coming back from Halloween Horror Nights. Coming to get an icy and just enjoy an empty Bayliner Diner to yourself. Look at it. Icy! Much needed icy after a long night of Halloween Horror Nights. So much fun. Really, really fun night. Sammy struggling, <laughs> but that'll happen. So now, time to chill in the room, have a shower, and enjoy my icy. Look at that out here though. Look at that volcano. It is very humid tonight, but I just, oh, I love walking this resort at night. It's one of my favorite things to do. My feet don't love having to walk all the way there after horror nights, but look at this. You get the resort to yourself. The neon here is just gorgeous. The lighting is gorgeous. The palm trees, the volcano. I truly love this resort for Halloween Horror Nights. It just brings all the feels for me. That's why I have a partial Cabana Bay tattoo. You know, my UFO has Cabana Bay colors because Cabana Bay is my Halloween Horror Nights home. And I'm so happy to be back here yet again. So, night one of the weekend complete. Much more to come. Don't love the frogs. Don't love that. But I will catch you guys again from the resort tomorrow. Look at the pool. Oh, and the Lazy River was so much fun. I'm so glad we finally got to do the Lazy River. So I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Well, good morning, everyone. It is Friday. And Bayliner is definitely a whole lot less quiet right now. It is 10.20 in the morning. I'm actually here for breakfast. Who am I? <laughs> I've been up since like 8.30. Who am I? But here for breakfast along with a whole lot of other people. Okay, so here's my breakfast. It's one of my favorite things at Cabana Bay, honestly, which is the bacon, egg, and cheese croissant with the breakfast potatoes. I'm not a huge fan of the lunch dinner offerings at Bayliner, but the breakfast is probably the best thing they do, and this sandwich is really delicious, so I got that. I also picked up Sammy some toast by her request, so there are toasters. So I've got the bread now, and then before I leave, I will toast it for her and take it back to the room so she'll have something to eat this morning. Still recovering from rough night last night. <laughs> so there we go, I forgot a fork. I'm gonna have to go get a fork. But I'm sitting here by the window getting a beautiful view of Cabana, the volcano, the commercials. I love it. Well, I haven't even walked this part of the resort yet. I guess Sam had already checked in. So I figure I'd better at least come walk this direction, see the Swizzle Lounge. Check out their Halloween displays. But they always do here in these windows. Here's the first one. Got your Horror Nights merch, but then also little spooky Halloween bits. They're time period appropriate, which I love. And another one. Her dress is super cute. Love it. Happy Halloween! And one last one. There are quite a few people checking in right now. It's pretty busy in the lobby. But let's check out the swizzle here. So this looks to be the exact same setup as last year. Went for Mr. Carver's pumpkins again. And 
Obviously this is not open yet. There's a version of Lil Boo back there. And I just love the like wall display they do back there. That's pretty impressive. But I was hoping they'd have a menu out because one of my friends wanted to see the menu, but looks like I'm gonna have to come back when they're open in order to see a menu. Here's the last little bit. Talking about the pumpkin lord. And some few final pumpkins. Now next weekend, I will be back here, but I'll be on the retro side. So I'm not gonna bother going over there for this vlog because I'll be staying on that side next weekend. So that will be in a future vlog. But for now, I'm gonna head back, take this toast to Sammy, make sure she's doing okay. Oh, this was a lounge just happened now. Got a some live music going. It's hopping. Okay, so this is a lounge is open now, so I can show you guys the menu. So this is what we're looking at for the Horror Nights cocktails this year. And then we've got scary selections and the standard drinks. Well, it's Saturday and we thought we were missing breakfast, but they do in fact run breakfast to noon on Saturday, so it's 11. I've got a waffle with strawberries, bacon. Sammy got toast, bacon, and potatoes. She's off making her toast. Saturday morning, Cabana Bay. So it is Saturday. We are back in the room. We had housekeeping actually come by and refresh the room because Sammy's been here since Tuesday so we got fresh towels the beds are all made it is nice and we had surprise breakfast uh, the website said that breakfast ended at 11 even on the weekends but that's a lie breakfast ran till noon because it is the weekend the lobby is packed with people checking in there's like a couple different large tour groups checking in which is not my favorite thing <laughs> like tour groups all in matching shirts the matching backpacks the whole nine yards not my favorite thing um so thankfully not gonna spend too much time in the lobby this trip um i was just kind of reminiscing about how september at cabana used to be one of my absolute favorite vacations because this resort was empty in september there would be you know the weekends would get a little busier for halloween horror nights but the weekdays nobody would be here it would just be so quiet so relaxing and that's just not the case for universal anymore september is packed i think halloween horror nights is definitely bringing in the tourists every single weekend is sold out pretty much for hotels very hard to stay here now unless you book far in advance and cabana is packed now some of those vacations were before they even added these towers. We were in one of the towers. So obviously there's a lot less rooms, so a lot less people that could possibly be at the resort, but still it just, it's not quite the peaceful September oasis that it used to be. It still brings back a lot of nostalgia for me, but it's not quite the experience that I used to enjoy quite so much in September where it just felt like pure relaxation. I am debating my plans. We've had breakfast, we got to meet up with another youtuber that sammy is friends with who is here from australia which is wild that's she had so much travel to get here but she and her partner just checked in so we met them in the lobby got to talk to her a bunch hung out with them for a while sammy's gonna hang out with them a whole bunch over the next week but she was super lovely her channel is spooky astronaut so i need to check it out myself i know sammy's mentioned her a million times and i need to check out her channel but I will link her down below. I'm sure we're gonna be hanging out with her more. They are considering joining us for Hello Scream tonight. I'm debating whether or not I want to throw on the bathing suit, go chill at the pool for a while uh, before we go to Hello Scream tonight. Whether or not I just wanna relax in the room or if I wanna go bake in the sun for a little bit, we'll see. But, but the good news is that Sammy is feeling somewhat better. She's still a little bit of a struggle bus. She's still struggling a little bit. You can maybe hear her coughing every once in a while in the distance. She's definitely feeling the i call it the like hotel gunk i get hotel gunk sometimes where i just get all congested 
um, especially for her coming from Scotland because AC is not really a thing. <laughs> so coming into Florida and you have all the AC running, she's struggling a little bit, but I think the heat exhaustion portion is over and she's ready for adventures tonight, so. So hello, it is Saturday night. Sam and I had planned to go to Hello Scream Orlando tonight and she is still just not feeling great, unfortunately. So her plan was just to relax, sleep, try to feel better today and rest up so we can hopefully do Halloween Horror Nights tomorrow night. So I went ahead and left the room. I went to Dead Coconut Club and met up with my friends Amanda and Brad before they went into Horror Nights. Obviously my Horror Nights ticket is not good on Saturdays, nor would I really want to be going to Halloween Horror Nights tonight anyway because I am peopled out. And I'd already spent four hours in Dead Coconut Club the other night, so I really didn't think I wanted to spend all of that time in Dead Coconut Club. Not to mention that I'm just kind of like, Horror Nights has been so busy that I just needed some space away from the theme park. The resorts are packed, everything's packed. So I've come over to a bar that I've heard about, a themed bar that is very close to Universal called Vault 5421. I've heard of it for a while, so I figured I'd come check it out. It is also supposedly very small. There doesn't seem like there's a lot of cars in this parking lot. I'm hoping that I'm here early enough that I can go in, check it out, get a mocktail, enjoy the atmosphere of it. They're having an event that starts at eight. It's almost six now. So I'm hoping I'm here early enough that I can go in, have it a little peaceful to myself, have a mocktail, and then I think I'm gonna go grab dinner from one of my favorite Orlando restaurants. Cause if you don't know, I used to live right in this area. I lived like 15 minutes from Universal when I lived in Orlando. So this area is kind of where I used to dine. And I have two restaurants that I love. I'm still deciding between which one I'm going to choose. It's either going to be Greens and Grill, which is like my favorite salad place, or Border Grill, which is my favorite Mexican place. We're gonna see how I feel after this mocktail. But I had the slime mocktail from Dead Coconut Club. Very melony, yummy, no lime is better. And let's go see how many people are in here and see if I introvert out or not. I think if it's not packed in there, I'll enjoy just having some alone time in a themed environment that's not full of other tourists. <laughs> so let's go check it out. All right, well, this is an interesting little spot. I don't know that I would have known to come in here. <laughs> But it's inside the comic book store, so here we go. All right, I am heading back to the back. So that's where it's located. Okay, this is manageable. So I got the mock teeny. It's ginger ale peach. I think something else in there too. No, I can't remember what it was. And it came with a lemon head candy. And I've got kind of a little corner tucked in. It's still very quiet in here, so very comfy. They're showing Jersey Shore though, which is I guess the event that they're having here tonight is a Jersey Shore event. <laughs> that part's a little random, but this is the vibe. Which I kind of love. It's not quite my tiki, but it's chill and it's a lot quieter and there's not a million tourists here, so I will take it. I just needed some chill time in a themed area that wasn't packed with people. I feel better. It's getting busier, so I think I'm gonna a little longer and then free up this table so people can have the table but it's been really fun just to chill here have some introvert recharge and enjoy my drink well i'm back at cabana but i did get my shirt and before i try it on i just want to show it does come with 3d glasses how cute is that so next time I go to Dead Coconut, I'll have my glasses. I'll be ready. 
Well, good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. The Bayliner Diner is packed this morning. Uh, lots of people slept in today, and lots of people checked in yesterday, probably too. It is full of people in here. But I got the same exact thing as yesterday because it was delicious. So I got the waffles and a side of bacon. So good. Highly recommend. That's gonna be breakfast today. Actually, this is gonna be my main meal of the day. That's what I did yesterday too. It's hardy enough to get me through to get to Horror Nights and then I'll have a snack sometime tonight. Works out perfectly. All right, well, it is the final spooky night of this weekend. And before we go off to Halloween Horror Nights, <coughs> and before Sammy dies, <laughs> We're gonna go to the Chucky photo op that's here at Cabana. It's available yeah. for all resort guests. So you can stay at Aventura, any of the other resorts. You just have to come over with your room key. You have to be staying on property somewhere to do this photo op, but it opened at two. We're gonna go take some pictures, yeah. some spooky pictures, and then it's off to another night of Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. On our way. To Chucky. So, in order to find this, you just come upstairs from the Bayliner Diner. You can see Bayliner's right down there. It's much quieter right now. And right over here, fun in the sun, the Chucky experience. There's a little bit of a line right now, but not too bad. Sammy's vlogging behind me. They're <laughs> both vlogging. But all you have to do is show your room key, and you get to go take pictures. Or show. Want to play? Oh, here we go. Do you want to play this? No, I don't like Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like Chucky. <laughs> oh, he's gonna. He, I guess I have to do it, right? I have to do it. Oh, I said killer. Is there an age limit for me? Uh, I've heard people say this is better than the house, and I would agree. This is already better than the house. No, I'm being serious. <laughs> this is better than the house. Yeah. I don't want that to be true, Look but. Washington. Oh no, not the turkey. <laughs> oh man. Oh, not with a cheese grater. <laughs> Chucky! Classic Monsters one from last year a lot better, but still cute. Chucky's not my thing, but some cute photo ops in there for sure. So now it's time for another night at Dead Coconut. So hey guys, it is Wednesday. I am obviously back home. Had such a good time with my first stay at Cabana Bay, but that's not my last stay at Cabana because I am getting ready to drive back there tomorrow and check into my own room, which is going to be a family style suite exterior entry on the pool side. So very excited for that. I did catch the HHN cold. I was not able to escape it either from Sammy <laughs> who got sick or just the masses of crowds around me. Um, but thankfully so far it's been very mild. It is not the dreaded C word. I did test just to make sure, but so far it's just been a sore throat and a little bit of congestion. So I'm feeling fine, excited to go back into the fog and had an amazing time at all of our adventures that we did from the Dead Coconut Club and Vault 5421 and the Chucky photo op and finally experiencing the Lazy River at Cabana after all this time. I'm excited to go back and have some more adventures with Sammy to explore the retro side of the resort once again, take you guys along for the adventure. We kept the floaties, so there's probably more Lazy River time to come and I will take you guys along for that adventure in the next resort vlog. I'm pretty sure there'll be a Halloween Horror Nights between these two cabana videos, but stay tuned because most likely next Monday, another cabana video. So until then, I'm gonna say it, stay safe and stay spooky and I will see you soon. Bye.